What is up, everybody? Alfred here from CampusToCanton.com. I'm going to give you a little deep dive into one particular prospect today, a guy committed to Georgia. His name is Nykar. He's a wide receiver, currently ranked as the consensus or composite wide receiver nine on 24-7. There's a pretty big disparity between um, two of the major recruiting sites and two of the other major recruiting sites. 24-7 and on three both have a much lower at wide receiver uh, 20, uh, 23 and wide receiver 19, respectively. And then ESPN and Rivals have him higher top 10 for the both of those. So he's the composite wide receiver nine. I was pretty excited looking at his tape right away. Um, but uh, big wide receiver guy, one of our um, contributors over here who runs a lot of the behind the scenes recruiting stuff that we do for the official another show you should check out if you like this video for more of a comprehensive weekly 30 minute show on the recruiting landscape this is going to be a deeper dive into one player and hopefully we'll keep it to about five to six minutes here um but he said that he wasn't super impressed when he watched some full game tape the highlights are impressive let's take a look at what we like about nycar and what maybe leaves a little bit to be desired with nycar and so what we're going to look at here is a few of his better plays on the front end of his highlight tape. He's very fast. He's 5'10", 170 pounds. And, you know, he moves like a guy who would be 5'10", 175. There's some juke in the open field and just pulling away from the rest of the secondary here on a short pass that he then con converted into a long touchdown reception. Uh, here he's running out of the slot. He does that about 13% of the time per our charting and uh, then makes a guy miss <coughs> And then uses his speed again, pulling away. There's a guy even with him here, but he's going to uh, break that angle and get into the end zone. So you like to see that early on. Okay, he's a smaller guy, but he's got that speed. He's got that long uh, juice to get all the way into the end zone. And then here again, kind of blowing past the safety, a little contact there, maybe still getting a ton of separation and coming back to the ball with good hands catch there. You can see kind of going backwards. Uh, let's look at it one more time. Uh, kind of going backwards and getting the ball there. Uh, despite a poorly thrown ball way behind him, he does reach back, hands, and then gets into the end zone. So you like that. Uh, always looking to see, are they able to reach out and do hands catches at this level rather than just easy catches against the body? And then getting separation in short area there. This, again, really impressive. I like to see that from guys who don't get 30 yards to get separation, but here within five yards, boom. He separated, and there's you know more yards of separation than there were on the route almost there in the end zone. Uh, you love to see that for some of these smaller guys that maybe need that separation, can't body up a DB in the end zone. Again, coming across and just making a tough over-the-middle catch. That's nice to see from Nykar. Here we've got a nice little two moves hitch almost going back outside. Not really a hitch route, but you know he does make a move there, get to the outside. He stumbled there after the catch and I think this is going to be a little bit of what we see with him there leaves a little bit to be desired honestly once the ball and is, is in his hands we'll see that later at the tape I saved some of the negatives towards the back end but you know you'd like a guy with this much speed and athletic ability to make some guys miss and have a lot of yak um, not sure there's that so much with Nykar and you just saw there wide open on reception but he had to stumble you know in adjusting and then ended up falling down We've got here um, a lining up on the outside, you know, not able to really get separation here, but a contested catch is not always bad. Sometimes you don't win the route, but you can still come back to the ball and make a contested catch. You like to see that, especially for a smaller guy, fended off the DB with one arm, caught the ball with two hands. And now we're seeing a over the shoulder catch, good ball tracking. Uh, that's not bad. Um, Certainly down the field, you're going to want to be able to use him. And then this is a little deceptive route here. I thought showed some good nuance. So he's going to settle in the zone real quick, but then go deeper up the field, find more space, um, and then get into almost getting the end zone. Again, you'd really like to see this finish with ease. Like right here, he catches the ball. This should be a no question touchdown. Uh, and instead, he kind of comes back outside. Now he's met four defenders here. And I don't know if he got in the end zone or not. Looks like he might have been stopped short. You hate to see that, honestly, when at the point of the catch, he was wide open. Um, I think you see that a little bit here uh, further in the tape. But this is another really good one. He makes a guy miss. And now he's using his speed to get all the way down the field. But ran out of bounds. 
not always the end of the world, but you'd like to see some creativity, maybe try to get into the end zone instead of running out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. Now we're getting to a little of the negatives I see with Carr. Here's a, an out route, a kind of a deep out, and you know it just looks a little lazy. Uh, he's running out. He kind of rounds this thing off. The safety's not offering too much challenge. Rounds it off, and then you know he does catch it on the sideline. But you'd like to see that maybe it be a little bit sharp, uh, more sharp. And then Night Carr, uh, here we go with uh, a little short route. He's coming here. Catches it, has to come back to the ball, of course, but then kind of just runs into a guy. I mean, I know he was converging on three defenders, but just kind of there's not much there. He's looking to just hopefully get all the yards he can. I don't see ton of creativity when he's got the ball in his hands, and I really like to see that with an uber prospect. Um, here we go. And, you know, a lot of times you see guys, especially on a highlight. Remember, this is a highlight tape. This is not sing a single game that I'm cutting up. This is a highlight tape, and yet – it's a nice curl. He's coming back, took a few steps to get there, but then just gets tackled by one guy. Um, and we'll see that a few times here as the highlights come to a close. Another just one guy tackle. Um, and this happens a lot on his highlight tape. So, you know, you got to figure this is probably happening in, in the games uh, that aren't highlight worthy and the plays aren't highlight worthy. Again, kind of caught by one arm there and then ended up being game tackled. But but caught by one arm and stopped his momentum with one arm. And that pretty much gets us here to the end. So I think with, with Nikar, you've got an exciting player who displays a ton of athleticism, a ton of shiftiness um, that he should be able to convert into a lot of extra yards. I don't know if I see that on his tape, at least that's his junior tape. And so I think George is getting an exciting guy. Um, maybe add some strength, add some play strength, add some yak ability to break a few tackles, not get tackled so easily. But a guy with tremendous athleticism, top end speed, uh, who could end up being quite a weapon for the Georgia offense. So that's Nikar. Um, he's probably going to end up being in the teens wide receiver for me, kind of more in line with 24-7 and on three rather than a top 10 guy the way that ESPN and uh, Rivals has it. So that's Nikar. Hope you enjoyed this video. Remember, check out campus Give us a like. Do you agree? Tell me in the comments. We'll see you later.